What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I have another special opening for you guys because we're opening up another Yu-Gi-Oh! Rarity Collection Quarter Century Edition. Yeah, I opened up two of these already. I mean, this box is awesome. It's pretty expensive too because the reprints are insane and you get a lot of really cool rarities in this because basically every rarity is in this set. I mean, it is a set too that I believe will only be out for Japan. I don't think we're going to get this, unfortunately. I, I mean, I hope I'm wrong. That would be awesome. But we didn't get the past rarity collection, so we'll see. I mean, this set, though, is really cool. It really is, like, one of the best ones we've ever had in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it includes so many things. Like, for example, you get, uh, let's see, holographic rares, which is ghost rare, basically. Quarter century secret rare, which is the newest rarity. Extra secret rare, ultimate rare, ultra rare, super rare, secret rare, and collector's rares. And... I think you're basically guaranteed at least one of each of those besides the ghost rare per box. So that's why this set is pretty expensive even in Japan. It's around normally about $100 for one of these and I got it for, I want to say it was closer to $80 because I used Bai. So check them out. I am sponsored by Bai. They are awesome. It's a way you can buy stuff from Japan like you live in Japan. And especially on these boxes, if you want to get a few of them, it's the best way. Because I know people on eBay are charging way more for these. And if you want to make sure you get a good box, one that's sealed, and a good deal, and not spend all your money, and so you can get more boxes, basically, get more for your money, then uh, you want to use buy. And you also save some money when you use my link and all that, too. You will save 1,000 yen, basically, just from that. So check them out. Link down in the description. And let's get to it, okay? Yeah, I definitely recommend them for, for this set. It's that way too, and especially a lot of things, like whenever I open up that Kaiba briefcase and things, you know, it's way cheaper to use Bai than try to go with someone on eBay, for example, or just going with like Amazon Japan, because you don't know who you're dealing with on that, and uh, whew, it, it adds up. But when you use Bai, you can save money and buy more cards. <laughs> and you know, that's my way of doing things. So... Let's get to it, okay? We had some incredible luck last time. I just hope we get different ones, basically, because I would love to have the full set. I think almost everything in this <clears throat> everything in this set is almost like a, a secret, uh, or quarter century secret rare, I should say. Sorry, I got choked up and everything. I'm too excited. <laughs> anyway, we have our blue eyes. Predator plant. Dogmatica punishment. And a secret rare ancient fairy dragon. That's just regular secret rare. Not bad. We got a collector's rare one, I think, last time, yeah. Let's say it's actually over next to me. See, that's another Dogmatica card, I do know. One of the Code Talker cards, and... Oh, dude! Well, that's a good ultimate rare. Uh, Triple Tactics. Yeah, as an ultimate rare. Can you believe that? You know how insane that would be over here? Yeah, you get those kind of cards out of this box. It is insane. I think you get normally, like, two ultimate rares and two collector rares, by the way, in a box. So, <laughs> I can't wait to see what else we got, but that is sick looking. You can kind of see the foiling on it too. And then even Reasoning as a secret rare, that looks really good. It's like a parallel secret rare. Wow. <laughs> Just everything about, I'm so freaking jealous of Japan on this set. I want this in English so bad. Like it would be amazing. It would sell out like instantly. Danger Jackalope. We got Benton, which looks pretty cool, actually. On this Ash Blossom, there you go, ultra rare. And yeah, <laughs> Max C, a secret of Max C. <sighs> I wonder if we're ever going to see this card again, right? We see it in Master Duel. I feel like I see it in that more than anything. But yeah, remember, in Japan, they have Max C. I kind of wonder if we're, we're ever going to get it again. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about it anyway. I forget about this card, but I think it's Tri Brigade. Haunted Mansion. Uh, Forbidden Droplet. Man, I couldn't think about that one for a second. And... Oh, we got Heat Soul this time. Very nice. That's a secret rare. I think we got it as a... Ultimate before. I think in our double unboxing. It was a good looking ultimate for sure. Spellbook of Judgment. There you go. Uh, Master of Dark Law. Okay, we got some. It might be the 25th, the, the quarter century secret rare. Anyway, we have a Dimension Shifter and... Oh, dude, that looks good. Yeah, that is a Striker Dragon. See, you can tell right there. There's the 25th anniversary logo. That's how you can tell as well. If you can't tell enough about how shiny this card is, 
That's how you know it is the quarter century secret. I always want to call it the 25th secret for some reason. I don't know why. That's why I've stuttered a few times on it. But yeah, that looks good. And I don't think I have this one yet. So let's get a sleeve. I would love to have the full set. Like, and, and I think there's quite a few of all these quarter century secret rares. That's kind of my goal. So we'll see. A lot of them aren't too expensive, but there are a few that are going to be pricey, you know? So <laughs> that looks good. And again, I love how you can see the logo. It's a little harder in a sleeve, but there you go. Well, again, at least it's one I didn't have. We'll see what else we get, too. And I think you are guaranteed that because I've gotten three so far out of my three boxes that I've opened now. We got Simoon. Ice Dragon's Prison. Got something. Oh, okay, that's a collector's rare. Nibiru. What what do I say? Like seriously, what do I say? That that's freaking beautiful. <laughs> like I'm so jealous of Japan uh, right now. Look at this. Can you imagine? You know how hard it is for us to get collectors rare anyway over here. That is so sick looking. Like that's better than ultimate rare. And then uh Visionary Ferris. But that is just insane. Okay, what else he got? <laughs> I'm just going to be jealous this whole video. Full armor, reinforcement. Oh, we got an ultimate rare uh, Albaz. Not bad. Looks pretty good. I like how the background has that foiling. That looks really nice, actually. Well, there you go. I think, didn't we get him as an ultimate? Like an OTS or something? I could be thinking of something else. Let me know if I'm wrong. I'll correct myself in editing. Or whatever but that's really cool and oh here you go baron yeah we finally just got a reprint of baron i actually pulled the collector rare but yeah even another good reprint for them that would be nice so what possibly we could have a ghost rare and we should have another uh, collector rare i think so we'll see anyway effect veiler i don't remember this card i think that's i want to say something for shadals Downward Magician, and then a uh, Pot of Extravagance. Not bad. I believe Prosperity's in this too. Okay. We have Harold, Ferris, uh, Inspector Borden, and uh, Iris, Sword Soul. That one's cool looking. Again, just the regular like, Secret Rares look good to me. Something about it. They seem a lot shinier than ours. So, of course. Another reasoning. Uh, what is this one? Ghost Streak. I forget the name. I want to say Succubus or something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. But then... Oh, okay. That's nice. A uh, Collector's Rare uh, Compulsory Evacuation Device. Now that is cool. I like the... Especially like the waves right there. That looks really good. One of my favorite trap cards ever. And then Droplet again. Well, let's see if we can get one of those Ghost Rares. I think there's two. I think it's Ash Blossom and Nibiru. So, we'll see. I'd love to get those. Heat Soul, Lava Golem, then Triple Tactics. Oh, that is an extra Seeker Air. Well, there you go. That is, uh, oh, what's her name? It's like the... Magus, I think she's part of that. The No, Majestus. That's what it is. Yeah, she's part of the Majestus. I, I forget. I know I run her in Dark Magicians on Master Duel, but I can't remember her full name. Either way, that's a cool looking card. I like too how like she's a little bit lighter than the rest of the card, so it looks good. It's not just like really dark looking. It's not like the, the old Platinum Rare, basically, we got for Noble Knights. So that makes it look really good. That's extra secret, by the way, if you're wondering. And I do believe you're guaranteed that, too. So, yeah. <laughs> That's just... Ah. I'm so jealous. Compulse. Then, uh, oh yeah, that you say Synchro. I can't think of its name right now. And... Oh, we got another Ultimate Rare? I thought we'd only get two. We got the Preta Plant as well. Uh, Draco Sapelli or something like that. Uh, yeah. That looks good. Okay, I'll, I'll take another Ultimate Rare. I could have sworn it's only been two. Maybe I've been wrong. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe we did, actually got an extra. I'll take it. And then Aphrom. But, uh, yeah, I'll always take another ultimate rare. 
Those are sick looking. And people wonder why I open up Japanese packs. Seriously, this video should explain it. Oh, all these videos I've done should explain it. Lone Fire. Oh, that's like the searcher for uh, the dinosaurs. Can't remember the name. Uh, Elder Entity. And then, oh yeah, the, the other link that's good. Um, oh, the Endymion, basically. I always forget her name too. She's been reprinted for us kind of recently. It was in Battles of Legend. She's another one that I always forget for some reason. Still good though. And now, only two more packs. Let's see if we have something else. I, I don't know what to expect anymore. Lancia, that's cool. And... Oh, we got a, another Lancia right after that as a collector rare. Look at that. Okay, so we actually got three. I didn't think it was three of each before. I'll double check myself here in a second. But yeah, look at that. That is insane looking. Again, collector's rares are such a pain in the butt for us to get. In Japan, you basically have several sets that guarantee them. For us, it's like one per four box, maybe. If you're lucky, you're not guaranteed anything, but that's the normal ratio. So, phew. dogmatic of punishment, by the way. And, last pack. What, what can we even end with? I don't know. Let's see. It's like this has been a really good box. We have a number 100. There's the Majestus again. Uh, is this Small World? I think it's Small World. And, oh, we got, uh, was it Dart Servant or something like that? It's the one that helps you search for, for Dart Magician stuff. But yeah, that's a really good one. I wouldn't mind getting that as like a really high rarity. But yeah, that box was incredible. These boxes are worth even more than I thought then. If you're like guaranteed that many, I mean, it's a really cool collector's item, especially we, we know that whenever it's another year or so, these are going to be insanely pricey to find whenever they're, you know, are a little bit out of print. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you're going to buy any Japanese set, this is the one for sure. I mean, the cards are amazing. Being able to go for ghost rares, collector rares, ultimate rares, and all that in this is just insane and being guaranteed it you know you don't get that normally where you're actually guaranteed these rarities yeah and like i said too i want to get all of the 25th anniversary cards like the quarter century secret rares i really want to get a binder and have them all in it so we'll see what happens i got quite a few of the 20th anniversary seekers when they did that so We'll see. A lot of them aren't too expensive, so maybe it won't be too terribly hard to hunt down. But let me know what you guys think about this set. As always, thank you guys for watching, though. Hope you're doing well, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.